Hello everyone and welcome to the Accessibility Services video tutorial on Gitmine. Gitmine is a free online mind mapping and flowchart tool that can be used to help you visualize complicated concepts, generate new ideas, create lists, outlines, and make great presentations. We will begin by providing an overview of the web application and cover some of the main features of the program. First, open your preferred web browser and go to www.gitmine.com. Select the Get Started, It's Free button, and you will then see all of Gitmine's templates and flowcharts. On the upper right corner, select the Login slash Register button using your preferred account. Once registered, you can begin to create your first mind map or flowchart. To create your first mind map, select the New button that is located at the top left corner. Then, Select New Mind Map. In the floating node, begin by typing in the main topic or theme of your mind map. In order to add other nodes, subnodes, and additional parent nodes for your subnodes, go to the top bar and select one of the three buttons on the left. The following buttons allow you to edit the text's font, color, and style, change the color of your node, add an attachment to your node, add a floating node, establish a layout for your mind map, and reset your layout. You also have a button to save your work. However, GetMind does it automatically for you whenever you edit your mind map. There is also the option to share your work with your fellow classmates. Once you have created the mind map, you can change the theme, edit the style of each note, Insert icons, turn your mind map into an outline, add a comment to any section of your work, adjust the relationship between two or more notes. and add a summary to any node in your map. On the lower left corner, you'll find different options to visualize your work by zooming in or out and navigate throughout your mind map using a small screen as shown here. In the upper left corner, you can name your mind map, and in the upper right one, you can ensure that your work is saved for future reference. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. If you have any additional questions or would like to find out information about other similar mind mapping software, visit our Learn course or connect with our drop-in center.